Hi everyone, it's Allie with Bold North Frenchies. Now I get a ton of messages from people asking me, what do I do right when I get home from the C-section with a puppy? Now I've done a lot of videos on this, but I wanted to do this and really make it super basic. So imagine that this is targeted towards someone who has never whelped a litter before. Uh, this is something completely new. You're freaking out about it. You don't wanna screw up. You don't wanna miss a beat, okay? so. And I think sometimes people don't ask questions because they feel like they should know the answer, but if no one teaches you, how would you know the answer? So I don't have any newborn puppies right now, but I do have Kevin Hart Jr. So he is going to be our little model today. So when you get home from the C-section, puppies will be kind of crying. We use a car incubator. Um, some people do a box, some people do a laundry basket with warm rubber gloves, um, with warm water underneath the blankets, whatever it takes to get them home safely. I do want to say never put mom with babies in that basket or anything on the way home. Mom is coming out of anesthesia. She's not herself. Uh, keep them separate. Now, right away when you get home, you're going to want to weigh your puppies. That's what I do. I weigh them right away. Now I know they weigh them at the vet, but I like to get my baseline. Um, I use a, a scale called Etek City, E-T-E-K-C-I-T-Y. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it works. It's a food scale. And so it's really easy to put puppies in here and get a weight um, either in grams or ounces. Grams is more um, accurate. But some people really, old school breeders usually do ounces um, or they'll do grams. It just depends on what your preference is, but grams would be the most accurate, okay? You're going to, of course, wanna write down that number and get that baseline, okay? The other thing you're going to wanna do is make sure you have your electric infant aspirator. I have a few different aspirators. I have this electric aspirator. I, you just go on Amazon, put an electric infant aspirator. The milk will collect here, it's really easy to clean. I also like this one that actually comes with the light. There you go, so you can see the milk. Um, so it's up to you, have that handy or an aspirator bulb. I like this one because it has an extra long tip, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is already have your whelping box heated up. You're going to wanna have your heat lamp on. And what we do is also have a heating pad underneath the whelping pad for the first week or so. We live in a colder climate, and so it's important to make sure it's, it's warm in the whelping area. Uh, you don't wanna cook the babies, but you do wanna make sure it is warm and comfortable, okay? So I usually call my kids on the way home and say, plug in the heating lamp, get the whelping box ready. Um, if you don't have that, just right before you leave for the C-section, turn it on, okay? So don't leave yourself a note. Don't forget to do that. So right when you get home, you're going to get mom settled in and you are going to get her in the whelping box. Hopefully it's not a new place for her. You have brought her down there a couple of times or maybe for a couple of weeks for her to get comfortable with her whelping box, okay? So you're going to wanna lay down with mom. You're going to wanna get in the whelping box with mom, okay? That's important, um, especially when it's a new mom. You never, ever, ever leave the puppies unattended with a new mom ever okay so and even a mom that isn't a new mom you just don't know how especially with the c-section you never know how that anesthesia is hitting them uh they're just not themselves okay so when i get home my vet usually gives me a shot of oxytocin that i can administer right when i get home especially if the mom didn't have time to go into full-blown labor. If we did a reverse progesterone and her number was like two or below, we, we will cut. Um, and sometimes that doesn't really promote that maternal instinct. Now, I like to really wait until my girls also start going into labor, which is scratching, pacing, panting, uh, because they just, it gets all those hormones going, the milk will drop and they are more maternal. But if you don't have that option, an oxytocin shot will help encourage that. So you're going to wanna to get in the whelping box and you're going to wanna have puppies latch on to mom. The way you do that is you, put, you have clean hands. And by the way, in the whelping area, everybody wears a clean smock, a zip up clean smock, everybody. Everybody wears gloves or sanitizes their hands. And if you have a cold or sick, you wear a mask. You never let your kids come in. You never let a uh, company come in. You're very particular about who you are letting in that whelping area. Don't make it up, don't parade people in to see these puppies, okay? 
it's you and your husband or you and your partner, make it very specific about who has knows the rules of sanitizing, who is not sick, and make sure you are adhering to that. So if you have sanitized hands, you're going to want to put your hand in here and literally guide him to the nipple. Okay, and at first there's not gonna be a ton of milk, it's going to be colostrum, but that is very important that puppies get that, okay? So you're going to wanna encourage these puppies to nurse for about 15 minutes. Now, for the first week, um, I have puppies nurse every two hours for as long as they want, okay? Now, the first day they're going to maybe drop in weight or stay steady. After that, they should be going up in weight, okay? so. If they are not going up in weight, it means that they're not latched properly, so you need to work on that. Or they maybe have a cleft lip, you need to also look at that. Um, or they're just not taking in enough milk and you may need to supplement with hand feeding as well. And I'll talk about that in a second. But back to nursing. So let's say Kevin Hart Jr. nursed on mom, for his biting of my finger, but nursed on mom for a good 15 minutes. And at first, especially maybe not the first day, but as they start nursing, especially with Frenchies, you'll see milk a lot of times start bubbling out of their mouth or their nose. You don't want that. That could lead to aspiration pneumonia, which is where this comes in, okay? So I have, let's just use this one. This is my electric aspirator. I'm going to suck his nose, suck, suck each nostril. I'm also going to suck his mouth. Now, if he still sounds kind of congested, I may, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you on the side. Put this down, you, you squeeze it, put it in, pull it out, and then you can clean it, okay? So you're going to wanna make sure they are clear after they eat. It's one of the most dangerous things with Frenchie puppies is to have them bubble at the nose with milk, bubble out of their mouth and not handle it, okay? It's different than with labs with longer nose and things like that, the aspiration pneumonia risk is much lower. With flat face breeds, it's very important that you use this a lot. And you also make sure it's clean. You clean it uh, re religiously. I actually have multiple ones of these and sometimes I will even put their name on, you know, I have, I have about 10 of these and I'll put their name on it and say, okay, this is just for Kevin Hart Jr., okay? These are not expensive. I think this was like 12 bucks on Amazon. Very easy to clean. Um, so this one I think was like 19 on Amazon, okay? Same thing with the bulb. Unless you have the ability to really sanitize and clean it, you can really, uh, you can really, especially if you have a puppy that maybe is sick or maybe a little congested, they have their own set of tools. So again, after they nurse, you're going to want to clear them and mom will still be laying there, okay? Now, you can let her lay there, you can sit with her, and we try to do that as much as possible. The more puppies can be with mom, supervised with you, the more those maternal instincts start to click in, okay? She's gonna be sleepy. Uh, the puppies are obviously gonna be sleepy. They're gonna sleep, eat, poop. Speaking of poop, most moms are not stimulating the bowels yet. Puppies cannot poop on their own for the first couple of weeks or pee. So, after they eat, you're going to want to stimulate their bowels. You're going to have a clean area with a potty pad on top, and you're going to want to get these little cotton pads at the dollar store or Target. I'm going to do warm water on these, and I'm going to flip him around, and I'm going to wipe up, 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 and they will poop and pee on your pad. So you're going to go start from the bottom, and you're going to wipe up, wipe up, wipe up. Now, you're simulating mom licking, stimulating bowels, which hopefully she eventually will do. You could put his, their little butt in front of mom's face and see, hey, you want to stimulate? And sometimes, if, especially if she's a repeat mom, she knows how to do it. But eventually the instincts, mom, most moms will do it. Some moms, they make you stimulate the bowels the whole time. But you need to stimulate bowels after they eat because they need to poop and pee and they will do it pretty quickly after they eat. So nurse for 15 minutes, clear them of milk, stimulate bowels back in the whelping box, okay? Now, if you have to supplement feed, I'm gonna show you something that you should get ahead of time and it's called a miracle nipple. This was originally invented for orphan squirrels. It's awesome because puppies can't aspirate on it. They have to suck to get the milk out. You're not plunging the milk. You don't want to do that. 
So you are putting milk in this and they have to suck, suck, suck on this nipple in order to get the milk out. Um, I have a homemade recipe, but a lot of times if you're low on time, I've had good luck with goat's milk S black, okay? So this is a powder, you mix it with distilled water, you put it in here and you can supplement. But that is only if after you notice, after you know day two or three, they're starting to lose weight. You can start by making sure they're latching, have them nurse longer, always start with mom is the solution first, okay? If that still doesn't work, then you can supplement. Supplement, not replace. So you still want these puppies to nurse. The goal is to get them nursing full time. Eventually, mom's going to walk in the whelping box, curl up, and pups are gonna walk over and nurse off of her. That is your goal. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you to supervise. And that is why we have an incubator. So if I need to run upstairs and make breakfast for my kids and go to the bathroom, I will put the puppies in the incubator and leave mom in the whelping box. I don't ever, ever, ever leave mom alone with puppies. Not until they're about two weeks old or older. Um, so uh, all every breeder has had a nightmare where mom has laid on a puppy, attacked a puppy because she needs calcium, which I also should mention that. Um, always make sure that you are giving mom calcium. She needs it. She's calcium depleted after her um, C-section and going into labor and all of that. So we use a supplement called Oral Cal and we give that to mom every two to three hours. We give two to three clicks of it. Um, we get it off of Revival Health. I cannot stress enough how much calcium, how important calcium is. It helps with maternal instincts. You know mom needs it when she's still scratching in the corner. She's panting. She seems restless when she's with her puppies. She needs calcium. So guys, that is the basics right when you get home. And everything I mentioned, you're basically going to repeat that every couple hours. Now here's the thing. Puppies nurse every couple hours, but by the time you go through this cycle and then you wait, you're basically back up again in an hour and a half. So you're going to be sleep deprived, especially for the first 10 days or so, uh, two weeks or so. That's just the nature of whelping. Um, but you know, you have to be there for these puppies and to, um, make sure that you are, um, always supervising. You think of yourself as a mom's assistant. It is her show. It is her babies. You are there to facilitate everything and make sure everything goes well and puppies stay safe. Mom stays safe and we're all good. Hopefully this was helpful guys. Uh, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions, subscribe to my channel, please. I appreciate you not only watching, but also subscribing. See you soon.